Hi, it's time for February favorites already. Came really quickly, really, really quickly, but there you have it, this is what happens. Um, today's March 1st, so I'm a little bit, you know, on the line here. Usually I try to get my favorites videos up the last day of the month I'm talking about, but anyway, whatever. Here it is, February favorites. So February went really, really quickly. I don't know, it seems to always do that. Maybe it's just because it's one or two or so days, you know, a little shorter than the others. I don't know what it is, but it flew by. And I do have quite a few items though that I was loving the entire month of February. So before I forget to talk about it, because I do that if it's not sitting in front of my face, my sweater. I have gotten so many compliments on this sweater. I love it. It has gotten so many great reviews. Um, people seem to really love it when I'm out and about. Um, it's comfortable. It's different. I like how it's different. It's just kind of your, okay, it's billowy. I roll the sleeves up a little bit. The sleeves are a tad long for me. They may be for you too, but I'm 5'5 five five and kind of stumpy. So, <laughs> um, you know, they're a little bit long on me. I mean, they would kind of go, you know, like to this length, you know, they would be right here for me, not like here. And sometimes when I'm just busy doing something, I roll them up. Other times I leave them down if I kind of want them longer. So there is that to consider if you also um, feel like you are stumpy. You can roll them up, which is great. And I enjoy that too. It's a cute look also. So yeah. Anyway, I will link where I got this below. It's still available. It's gotten great reviews and there are three different colorways. So there's this one, one that's called tan, I believe. And it's kind of like a tan and a uh, brownish gray and then there's another one called walnut that is another mix so you have options quite a few sizes and many of the different you know the different three color ways are available still and it's just fun it's cute I, I mean I got mine to fit big and, and, and bulbous I don't know what I got I got the medium I have the medium and you can see how it fits and I'm basically a medium-sized person um, I can, I'm wearing size eight jeans right now, but I'm usually like 10 or eight in the, in the pants and mediums, occasionally smalls, but I like things large, you know, so that's me. I'm five, five, love the sweater. Check it out. <laughs> and seriously, you will get people talking about it everywhere you go, loving it, wanting to know where you got it, et cetera, because it's so different. And that's what I like the most about it. If you've been with me for any length of time, you know that I battle with dry skin. I have dry eyes, I have dry mouth, I'm constantly having to sip water, my cuticles are, you know, very, very difficult to deal with. My feet have, you know, like hooves instead of feet. I'm constantly dealing with dry skin. And so February is probably the worst month of all for that specific ailment of mine. So I'm constantly looking for, you know, serums and balms and moisturizers and, you know, anything that can make me feel like I'm not going to just dry up and blow away. And so a lot of this kind of has to do with that. So here we go. The first thing is kind of bizarre, I think. Um, I wasn't sure how to feel about it. I almost didn't even buy it, but I heard so many good things. It's the Tatcha, the serum stick. It's in the clean beauty category, which is very, very nice. And I was thinking, okay, so what does it do? The thing that got me to purchase it though is the most interesting part, I think. Basically, it's a serum stick and you just, you know, push the thing up and it's kind of just this balmy, um, it's not oily or greasy really, it's just sort of a balm. It gives a little tiny bit of a, a moisturized sheen to it. Nothing major, has no massive scent or anything. You can barely smell a little bit of a, maybe a lemon slightly. Um, probably because it has Japanese lemon balm in it. I don't know, kind of just very, very light, but basically unscented in my opinion. Um, it's just this easy throw in your bag kind of thing. Now, how you use it is it, it's got hyaluronic acid in it. It's got the Japanese lemon balm and squalene. I think that's how it's pronounced, 80%. And it just locks in moisture, gives you some hydration that stays. It gives you this kind of a moist, dewy feeling and look. So if you put it on clean skin, which you can do, put it on clean skin. Um, I usually just do under the eyes here and then I kind of do around in here because I seem to get dry here and more, you know, I'm starting to get wrinkles in this area. So I just kind of put it there and sweep it upwards, you know, you know, that kind of thing. And it works great. And then you just take your fingers and just kind of tap it in a little bit. Feels so good. You can put it all over your face, wherever you want to put it. But that's what I do. And then go on with your makeup and put your makeup on like usual. It's all good, right? Then throughout the day, I tend to get 
um, under eye dryness. <laughs> My husband calls it the dry lake bed. Okay, isn't that lovely? Yeah, I feel so... Um, so gorgeous. Um, you know, when, when my eyes get a little bit, um, you know, that gets kind of dry and the makeup kind of gets dry there. Stuff <laughs> you got dry lake bed. This has really helped with that. So anyway, you just take it over your makeup and you can just add it right to those dry bits and just kind of tap it in and it moisturizes enough. It doesn't mess up your makeup or your um, concealer or anything like that at all. It just adds a little bit of whoop, it just makes it all moisturized again like you just put it on. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. And it has just enough of that little bitty bit of a sheen that you, it just kind of brightens. I don't know, I love it. You can put it anywhere. If you have some weird dry spot right here or something, you can just, you know, throughout the day kind of thing. Um, so it's perfect for at the moment, and it's perfect for after time. The serum and the wonderfulness in the stick does help your skin stay moisturized, prevents you know fine lines and wrinkles and all that good stuff that you want it to do. So at first I'm like, okay, what is this? It doesn't smell, it doesn't taste, it doesn't, you know, it's clear, it's like, what's it? Yeah. But it really does work very well for those specific situations that I'm having. So if you have any of those two, <laughs> that might be a good one. So without naming any names, I have a family member, love dearly, who has been struggling with a few like eczema type issues. Um, she's been getting dry patches and weird spots and things that really itch and not sure why and that kind of thing. So we've been struggling trying to find something, plus, you know, to take away the itch, to deal with the skin and try to balance it and make it better. And I've tried different things. She has some um, creams that she got from her doctor and those help somewhat just for you know, a little bit, but not great gobs. Anyway, we're desperate um, trying to find something that was going to relieve some of the issues. And I got this and I thought, let's give it a try because I do love the Josie Marin um, things, what do we call it, you know, products. And I thought, let's give this a try. It's called the Argon Apothecary. So it is the Intensive Daily Repair Body Butter, Eczema Relief with Argon Oil and Collodial, I cannot say it, Colloidal Oatmeal. So it's got the colloidal oatmeal in it, which is the thing that people want you to like bathe and you know, have an oatmeal bath, that kind of thing that really just sucks out the toxins and keeps you from itching and all that stuff. So I thought that was really neat that it has that in here. And it's a good honkin' sized container. And she has been using this and using this and we are on jar number two. I have a weird dry spot right here and it gets real itchy and sometimes a little bit right inside my ear. Is that TMI? And I just take a little tiny stab and I just, just put it there and I swear to you it just immediately takes the itch away the dryness and it's just been so much better ever since she is finding it to be very good for her um, especially her legs where she's got some of the issues so I highly recommend this if that is any kind of an issue that you have or anyone that you know has you might recommend this really good stuff it works one more balmy dryness related thing <laughs> um this is a brand I've just started trying. I have two other products from this line. It's called Maya Chia. Um, just been learning about it and really enjoying what the company represents. This specific item, which is the super critical Chia Waterless Wonder Balm. And it's two ounces. It's a balm. I just thought I'd save the box. I do that many times with products I think I might want to talk about. And it is amazing. Good, good stuff. A little goes a very long way, which is fantastic. I have another, my original container I have sitting next to my chair in the family room so I can use it just in different places if I'm watching TV or something like that. Um, and then this one stays in my bathroom. So I got this up, this one to stay in my bathroom. This has won an Allure Best of Clean Beauty Award for 2020. Good stuff. It's multi-purpose. You can use it on your hands, your elbows, your cuticles, your heels, you know, your feet. Um, you can even put a little bit of the balm in your hands and kind of run it through your, the ends of your hair just to kind of make sure that the ends stay a little bit moisturized so much. It is delicately scented with a uh, orange blossom extract and you definitely smell that. It's got a floral, um, very light floral orange blossom scent to it, uh, which most people absolutely adore. I prefer things unscented, but if it's not too major, I'm fine with it. And if it works, then I definitely am fine with it. But people use this on their lips, like for an intensive, like chapstick kind of a situation uh, when they sleep at night and they swear by that. Um, I use it on my cuticles. I'll just sit there like this and I'll just kind of, you know, I put everything on my cuticles. I'll try anything um, because I have such, you know, cuticle issues. I have a dry red 
awful elbow lately. <laughs> there it is. Um, and I've been putting this on my elbow. Oh gosh, it feels so good. And it just really hydrates and you know, oh my gosh, amazing. So it goes there. Um, any dry spots you have, seriously, you can just kind of easily just kind of grab some, enough comes off on your finger just to do that. And you can put it all over your, like if you have dried knuckles, um, you know, any of that kind of thing, it just works beautifully. You could use it on your face, your body, your heels, your elbows, your hands, your cuticles, your feet, uh, the whole darn thing. Anywhere you want to just, um, you know, deal with some ridiculous dryness. And it does have that lovely scent to it. If you are a scent person, you will really enjoy this for sure. This is what it looks like and I'm loving it. And it is just feeling so good and doing the job, which is great. Okay. Two makeup item things that I have tried and am really enjoying. First of all, I wanted to try this Wander Beauty um, mascara. It's a treatment mascara, which is what I was looking for. I was trying to find another treatment mascara to try. I absolutely, positively, hands down, adore the Chantecaille um, mascara with the uh, growth peptides in there. They work wonders for me. I, I tell you, I use that stuff and then I'll stop and I'll use a different mascara for a while. And then I start to notice that, okay, my eyebrows are eyebrows. Eyelashes are looking a little sparse or a little weird or whatever. So then I go back to the Chantecaille. It's just something I've been doing off and on forever. And the Chantecaille is worth every penny, but I thought, you know what? I've heard that there are quite a few more treatment mascaras out there now, so let's try some. And I have been trying this one. It's the Wander Beauty one. It's upgraded lashes is what it's called. It has treatment stuff in there. And it comes with like a tube, which is kind of cute. Um, upgraded lashes. And what I, I love the brush. I cannot use, I can, but it's a mess. Um, those really thick, fat, bloppy, you know, brushes. It's like trying to use a toilet brush on my eyes. I can't do it. Um, so I, I really tend to love this kind of brush where it's kind of a plasticky uh, bristles and thinner and it's got like different, you know, bits to it that you can turn it however way, whichever way you want. I do not like spider lashes. I don't want my lashes to look like I'm wearing false lashes really. I just want my lashes to look like regular normal lashes that are good. You know, they're strong, they're healthy, they're good, right? So that's what I'm looking for in a mascara. I don't need it to, you know, them to be so long they touch my whatever. You know, I just, seriously. And these, this mascara, for whatever reason, I know you can't really see too much. It seems to give me more lashes than I have. Nothing is worse than a mascara where you seriously, um, you know, you, you go bloop, 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 and all of a sudden all your lashes look like four clumps, you know? I don't like that at all. I mean, who does? But I see people wearing stuff like that all the time. It's bizarre. Um, I don't want those little black balls that... <laughs> that come out, you know what I mean? No, I just want it to coat my regular lashes, make them darker, make them stand out. And for whatever reason, I go from my, I have some mascara on right now, so it's hard to tell, but my non mascara lashes, and then I do this and all of a sudden it's like I have double the amount of lashes, like they individually all show up so much better. And, and this is not good, you can't tell, but tr trust me. <laughs> For me, it works, and yes, agreed, I like my uh, mascaras and most of my makeup to look as natural and just kind of, you know, I don't want to look like a big old makeup face. So if you aren't, you know, into wanting your lashes to reach the sky um, and be super, super big, then this is your friend. And uh, the jury is still out on the growth part because I, you know, you need to give it a long time. But for now, it has passed all the other tests that I would give it in ease of use. I love the brush. I love the way it makes my lashes look just on the daily. And um, it's kind of a win-win. So I'm pretty happy with it at this part. So I wanted to say that that is definitely a favorite of mine for the month of February. And I will let you know if I feel like the growth is still happening and so forth um, a little on down the line. Nine times out of 10, anytime I do a video or post anything on Instagram, which by the way, I've been, oh, I've been so bad with putting things on Instagram. I don't think, I don't even know when the last time I did. So I'm going to try real hard to start that back up again because I really want to do that. I like um, using my Instagram for contacting and talking with people. People can um, give me a direct message on Instagram and I can answer them right away, which I really like. So that's the best way to actually ask me something. I can, will usually get back to you right away there have been a couple times, I don't know what I've been doing, but I've been trying to go through stuff and I've accidentally deleted something, I think, 
I don't know why. So if I haven't answered your question on Instagram, it's because I accidentally lost you somehow. I'm not real bright. So anyway, um, I don't know what brought that up, but what the heck brought that up? Oh, anytime, <laughs> it's not fun getting old. Um, anytime that I post a picture or put up a video, nine times out of 10, someone always asks me, what lipstick are you wearing? So I want to try to remember to post what lipstick I'm wearing. So this time I have a feeling people will ask and I will be happy to tell you that I have been using this and it's the City Lips Matte and I am loving it. This one happens to be in Blush Rose. So this is the Blush Rose and it looks like this on the model. <laughs> and then I also have this one too, which I really do enjoy also. But this one I've been wearing all the time. It's like the daily, you know, I really, really enjoy it. And I like that it's matte and I can add gloss over it if I want, or I can just, it just looks kind of like a natural color, you know what I mean? Without super, super gloss. So it's a, obviously your normal kind of a doe foot applicator type of a thing. And it, like I say, it's a matte. What I love about it is it's like a long wearing matte liquid lipstick without the dry, it's not drying. My lips don't feel dry at all when I have this on, which is amazing. So what I do is I just sort of take the tip of it and I go around that little out, outline a little bit. And then I kind of just, with my lip, spread that outline in. <laughs> So the majority of it is still more on the ends and a little bit in the middle kind of how, is how I do it. You can full on glop it on however you want and it still looks beautiful and will work beautifully well. But that's how I do it and I really like this color. It's a perfect everyday type of a color. So I just wanted to share that with you because I know that I will get lots of questions. It's Blush Rose by City Lips. As usual, everything is linked down below. Okay, I have two alerts for you. <laughs> Two items, the next two are ones that um, you kind of need to act quickly if you want them because from experience, I know they go fast. And this one happens to be a swimsuit. Yes, I'm already thinking about swimsuits. So I purchased a new swimsuit and it's from a place where I love their swimsuits. They've always done so well for me and they just work. I don't know what it is, they fit well, they work well. So I saw this one and I thought it was pretty. It's a little outside my normal comfort zone when it comes to color, but I just, something about it, I loved it. So I got this one. Woo, right? Okay, yeah. I adore it. And here's the thing, I put it on and immediately felt like I could walk around outside in it, you know what I mean, without being too worried. And normally, most of my adult life, I guess, I have, even when I was even my tiniest and stuff, I always wore skirted bottoms or like a little skirted cover-up over my swimsuit bottoms. I'm rarely ever found with just normal you know, my butt is showing bottom. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm just so much more comfortable in the skirt, but I'm determined to get more comfortable with myself as is, you know? I mean, it is what it is. I'm not getting any younger. This is the best I'm gonna look from here on in, I'm sure. Um, you know, as I get older, it's just gonna get worse. So I'm going to try to enjoy this summer and, and go out there without my little skirty thing. Yes, ma'am. So I did get this one piece and I, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for a one piece. I do like for it to have a little bit of a higher neck for me. I, number one, don't want that burning all the time. And um, I just feel like that cuts down the bustiness of me. I don't really want my boobs to enter the room before I do. So I just kind of uh, minimize that, you know. Anyway, that's me. So I love this. It It is so flattering on. That's the thing. It is so so flattering on. I'm, I was amazed, absolutely amazed, completely. I love it and I wanna get it in another color, another um, pattern. Here are the different choices. So cute, right? They're, they're different. It's not like your average, you know, this is a bathing suit fabric that you can, you can see on every bathing suit in the world. Do you know what I mean? There are some different choices in the black. Oh my gosh, the black is just, classic and gorgeous. I just love it. I absolutely love it. I cannot say enough about it. And I know from experience that these suits from this place, they go quickly. So kind of, you kind of got to get on it and they're not cheap. However, I do have a 30% off code. So make sure you click on that and then type in what I wrote there for the name of the suit. If you're interested in that one or any of their suits, if it's not your style, still check out the whole array of choices because seriously, you're gonna love 
this suit or these, you know, this whole deal. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. But use the 30% off if you want to, because honestly, that makes it, you know, definitely more palatable. So, but man, is it worth it to, uh, you, I'd pay just about anything to be able to walk around in a swimsuit at a pool and not just feel awful about myself. So if anything makes you feel good about yourself walking around a pool, ha. Huh, get it, you know, and this helps me with that, I'm sure, because I, I did, I felt really good in it when I was uh, trying it on. And then the next one is the bag that I've been using so much in February. It is the Longchamp Neo, which we have, I could talk about that too. The Neo Longchamp, this is the medium. I love the medium style tote. The small is wonderful. I have that too in several colors but I love this medium. I will try to do a comparison of all three sizes so you can kind of see the difference. But um, it's just kind of that perfect size. It's not as big as your average tote. It's not as big as like a Neverfull, that kind of thing. It's smaller than that, but it's, a, I'd say it's bigger than a Speedy. I'd say the small is more like a Speedy size. It's just perfect. And I've been able to throw my gloves, a hat, whatever in here. I do have this, um, organizer thing that I just pop in and out from, you know, any bag that I'm using basically, uh, that will fit it. And I adore it, but uh, okay, here's the thing. The Neo, <laughs> Neo means that it's more sedate. It doesn't have the big Longchamp, you know, horse to here or anything. The colors match. The leather matches the nylon color of all of them. And I just think it's classic and classy and just understated and gorgeous. And I love the Neo line. Now, because I love it so much and because it's the one that I love and I want it in every color, of course, they've discontinued it. Whew. Why does that always happen? I swear to you, it always happens to me. Anyway, I contacted Longchamp and asked specifically, I'm, I'm having trouble finding the Neo. Can you tell me why? Is it, has it been discontinued? And they said, yes, unfortunately it has. Um, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, I found a few places that still have that exact bag. I found some Neos in small and some mediums and some large. Neos are, you know, definitely hands down very difficult to find. So if you are also interested in this, you know, the way it's just kind of all plain, you know, it doesn't have logos everywhere or whatever. Plus it does have an inside pocket here and another inside pocket on this side too, a smaller one. So I love that about it also. How wonderful are those? Yeah. Get them. I have ordered, I have a large in raspberry, which is a gorgeous color. I'm really looking forward to that in uh, summer, especially. So the raspberry is a stunning color and I don't even like pink much. Um, I got a red in the medium. I, <laughs> I have a navy. Um, coming too. I have taupe in the large and the small. I'm telling you, if I, the Neo is amazing. I love it. I personally love it. So if that's your style too, where it's just kind of plain in one color and everything kind of matches the leather and the nylon, go out there and search. But look down below at the places that I marked because I know they have some. Not many. Some places they even say like one left, two left, whatever. But um, yeah try if you're interested because they are going to be gone and they will never be seen again since they are discontinued. So little public service announcement there. Okay. My last favorites video, I was talking about my bracelets, how I got some bracelets from E. Newton and I got some bracelets for some gem bracelets, little tiny gem ones, um, from different shops that I had listed down below my video. And I also mentioned that I had ordered the Sapphire bracelet that, you know, I hadn't gotten it yet at the time, but now I have it. So that's kind of an interesting thing, but I have been loving my little tiny gems and so forth and my E. Newton bracelets for sure. And what I love is that whenever I do a favorites video and someone gets one of my favorites and they try it, and then they'll send me an email with a picture of them or whatever, you know, using the item and saying that they love it too. And thank you. Oh my gosh, that makes my day. So anyway, here's a quick little sneaky pic that was sent to me by Renee. Thank you, Renee. She bought three of the bracelets from E. Newton last time um, that I mentioned them on my last video and she's loving them. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love it. I love to know that others are getting enjoyment out of these things too. So anyway, thank you, Renee, for that picture. And thank you for allowing me to share it with the world. Um, yeah, so yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, I got the sapphire bracelet that I was telling you about last time. It came in the mail. I got it with a little gold ball 
and I love it. It's genuine sapphire. It is faceted. It's amazing. It's just your stretchy, you know, stretchy cord stuff. Um, I put it together with any and all of my, you know, other bracelets. I love lab Labradorite, and this is my E. Newton with the Labradorite and gold. And I just think it's so cute and it looks so good together when I'm wearing blue. I always throw on my sapphire. I've got one now in emerald and one in ruby that I adore, absolutely love. So these are so, so good. Every day I'm wearing them, every day. Love them. I just change around the different colors. I've got some turquoise now and some tanzanite. And you know, I'm, I'm just like going a little bit crazy on these bracelets. So I have linked my favorite um, sellers of these. There's three favorites of mine. I linked them down below so you can check out to see what they have. So this bracelet I was planning to, you know, tell you guys all about and anyone who wants one could go try to get one, blah, blah, blah. However, when I went to go purchase one for the giveaway, because this will be in my giveaway this month, a sapphire bracelet, there was only two left at the time. There were only two left. And I believe I got one of them for one of you. So I got one with a silver ball, little silver, tiny, that's the only silver part there is. That mine, is, mine happens to be in the gold color because I wear a lot of gold, but I don't know, I just chose silver. And uh, I got in seven inch because I had to choose something. I figured that was kind of a, you know, most people can probably use that. So this will be the giveaway gift, but in silver, the silver ball, and it is genuine sapphire, faceted, and gorgeous. I love it. Now, here's the thing. Any of you who just don't, you know, trust your luck and you're going to enter anyway, but, you know, you're not sure, you still want the bracelet in case you don't win, I think there's only one left. So the first fastest finger to that button listed down below might just get it. So I think there's only one left of this specific one. So one person can get one today and I have one for my giveaway, but all three of these shops that I have linked down below have beautiful, beautiful bracelets and many different gemstones. And I think if you click on where it says like, you know, tiny stretch gems or something like that. So like, like tiny gemstone stretch bracelets, you will find so many options and you may find things that you like even better than the ones that I've shown you. So, um, take a look, but yeah, first one gets it is yours. Um, to enter my get a giveaway to get this one that I'm, that's coming to me, um, just click on the link down below where it says, you know, to enter giveaway, click here answer the question, fill in a little bit of information, and you are all set. And it is going to be fun to draw that one. It'll be so good. I always do. It's just, a, I click a button and then it randomly generates the winner. And I get so excited about it. You should see me. I'm like, I'm sitting there thinking, okay, may the person who is, you know, the most, you know, would, would get the most out of this. You know, I go through this whole thing, you know, where I'm not just like, or it's like I'm just like, okay, I want this to go to someone who's really going to appreciate it, who, uh, you know, um, so yeah, there's that. Anyway, all my giveaways are open internationally, unless I state otherwise. Uh, so go for it. One of you will get a sapphire bracelet. So anyway, thank you so, so much. That's all I have for you this month. I am excited to share a whole bunch more things with you and I will be working on getting myself on Instagram more. Okay. Here's my Instagram again. And, um, yeah help encourage me for that. Okay. Cause I really want to do it. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. I ramble. I talk a lot. Sorry. It's just, yeah, it's, it's just me. <laughs> Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.